did you come here to blame me for Keeve's actions as well? Of course you're to blame. You gave birth to that bastard. But there is one way that you can fix the events of today. Thank you, baby, for the 15 years you graced me and your family with. Like your brother said, you'll never be forgotten. Though I'll never hear your voice. Though I'll never get to hold you again. Though I'll never feel your love, I'll always keep you in my heart, Elissa. Now go to God, baby girl. Tell your brother or your sister how sorry I am for giving them back to the heavens and that I love them so much. It wouldn't be fair for a demon like Heath to make it while you and JJ just fight Max. Please fight. I'm so glad to see that you're awake now, Max. You really had us worried there for a moment. Glad you decided to stay with us. Vanessa. She's fine. Vanessa was the first person you saw when you woke up, remember? Don't worry. She'll be back in the room soon. Keith, what happened to Keith? What did he... Who did he... Who did Keith hurt? Shouldn't you be with your family right now? I spent most of the day with my family. I needed to know... How you were doing, Isabel. Okay, Nichelle. If you ain't ready to talk, then I get it. Please call me back when you get this message. I'm really worried about you. It might be best to give Nichelle some time alone to process everything, Zeke. She'll speak about what happened when she's ready. Just like I'll wait for you to speak about what happened. I don't understand, Lorenzo. How could I fix the damage that has been done today? I doubt anyone can fix it. Of course you can do something about it. Leave Valley Park. You've already banished me, and I'm in the process of leaving. Good, because I'm not giving you a month to leave. After what your son did, I'm giving you a week to get out of town. Don't concern yourself with that monster. What happened? All that matters is that he can't hurt you anymore, Max. What happened? Just give him a straight answer, guys. Keeping information is hurting more than it's helping. All right. A cop took down Kiev at the school. He's in the hospital, but he's in custody. Who else? Who else was hurt? That's enough for today, Max. You literally had a bullet taken out of your body. Take this time to rest. Tell me. Who else? Who was hurt? Either you two tell him, or I will. I'm really sorry, sweetie. But Ulyssa Torres, she was hit, and she didn't make it. I just said my final goodbye to my baby, Esador. You don't need to check up on me to try and figure out how I'm feeling. Not when I now have to make plans to bury her. If you need help with anything, I'm more than willing to pitch in to lessen the burden. I'm more than capable of giving Ulyssa a proper burial, even though I never expected to bury any of my children. But I know that you're struggling too. How is Max? He... Max just... He's awake. Isabel. He's gonna pull through. I know it's supposed to be happy news. It is happy news, but since you lost Ulyssa, telling you good news feels wrong. There ain't nothing to discuss, Quinn. Keith Burke went wild and took Ulysses' life, gunning for everyone in that library. Exactly. Your girlfriend's sister was taken before your very eyes. That's not something you can forget. All of a sudden, you leave the South Side and forget how hard things were growing up? We grew up with people losing their lives to bullets on a regular basis. I haven't forgotten Zeke. But the longer I've been away, the more I understand how living around violence isn't supposed to be normal. Which is why I wanted you to attend the high school to avoid getting a gun pointed at my face. Clearly, violence follows me wherever I go, no matter how wealthy the place is. Don't you realize how difficult it would be for me to just leave so soon? I don't care how difficult it is. All I know is that it's not impossible. 
and I want to rid this town of your family. There's no telling if Finnegan will ever wake up since your son tried to blow his brains out. Your son is headed for prison where he belongs and all I need is for you to be gone as soon as possible. As if I'd want to stay in Valley Park after what Keith did. Do you think I want to be reminded every day of how much of a monster my son is? I don't want you to think. All that matters is what you do. Speaking of what you did, it's not that much of a surprise that Keith's behavior comes from your side of the family, Dr. Murphy. Ulyssa, she, she's gone. I'm really sorry, Max. I know you were really fond of her. Vanessa, I want, I want to see Vanessa. We already told you, son. You'll see her soon. I want to see Vanessa now. Okay, Max, if you want to see Vanessa, then we'll get her for you. But while we're out, you need to get some rest, okay? He needs some time to himself to process everything. We're the parents, Ben. Whatever decision needs to be made with your brother belongs to your father and I. I agree with your mother. Your brother has been through the most traumatic experience of his life. This is the second time he almost lost his life. And now, he has found out that his friend lost her life. He can't be left alone. If Max wanted us in the room, then he would have asked us to stay. Instead, he asked for someone who knows exactly what he's going through. That person is Vanessa. Don't feel guilty, Esidor. Don't ever feel guilty. I'm relieved that no one else had to lose their lives the way my Ulyssa lost hers. I would never wish what I'm going through onto Heidi and Gianni or any parent. Not even Terry? My mind is already in a dark place. Having darker thoughts won't bring my daughter back. All right. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't even have asked that question, Isabel. Are you sure that there's nothing I can do for you at the moment? I just need time alone to process that Elissa is gone forever. Okay, I'll give you that time. You know where to reach me. Esidor, wait. What is it? Before you go, would it be okay if... If I can get a hug? Get your hands off my mother. As a journalist, I know that what happened at the high school could happen at any school. But as your sister, I wanted to believe that you'd be safe. Today you weren't and it's not okay. I didn't say it was. I know, Zeke. But you just seem so nonchalant about it all. You ain't considered that I'm trying to be strong for Nisha. Her little sister passed away in her arms. So what, Quinn? You want me rolling all over the floor in tears? Of course not. I get that you want to be strong for Nichelle, but I'm here for you, Zeke. Let me be strong for you. I'm good. The only reason I helped your father end his life was because he asked me to. He didn't want to endure the hardship of Alzheimer's and wanted his life to end on his own terms. At the time, I couldn't deny his request. I'm certain that he would have gotten someone else to do it for him, or he might have ended up taking his life on his own. I guess we'll never know, will we? Maybe you should have convinced him to tell his family what he was going through so that he could leave this world in a graceful way. Instead, you allowed my father to leave behind a grieving wife, son, grandchildren, and a great-grandson. What's worse is that his passing was so sudden, my mother physically couldn't endure losing the man she loved. I have regretted my part in your mother's passing for over 20 years, Lorenzo. And you'll regret what you did for another 20 years in a prison cell if you don't leave town. Only if Esidor had turned you in, you wouldn't have given birth to that monster you call a son. Isabel's daughter would still be alive and my grandson would have never been harmed. Max, you wanted to see me? Vanessa, I'm here. I'm right here. You look a bit better than the last time I saw you. How are you feeling? Ulyssa, is it true? Yes, Max. It's true. Ulyssa, she... she's gone. It's not fair. It... it isn't right. I know, but Keith is gonna pay for all of the pain he's caused. We're gonna get justice. It won't bring Ulyssa back. You're right. It won't. Just when I thought you couldn't stoop any lower, how dare you? How dare you use my mother's pain? to try and sliver your way back into her life. That's not what I'm doing, Pacho. Get out of here right now. What is wrong with you? 
Just because we lost your sister doesn't make me weak. Yes, it does, Ma. Excuse me? This entire family is weak right now. This family is vulnerable. People like Esador have to stay away if we're going to pull ourselves out of this dark hole we're in. And it's deep. The Russos have been affected by today's events as well, Pacho. And guess what? They didn't have to say goodbye to Max like we did. If you ask me, I'm quite jealous of what they've got since we've lost so much. I'm really glad that Max is awake, Ben. I wish I could be there for you. Thanks, but I think it's best that you stay away, especially when it comes to my mom. We don't need anything to tick her off at the moment, today of all days. Besides, you've got a brother to look after, except he won't let me look after him. What do you mean, Quinlan? He's trying to put on a brave face while pushing me away. Give him time. Zeke is still human after all. He'll realize that he'll need his sister. You just need to be ready. I understand that you hate Key for what he did to Max. I'll sound like a terrible mother for saying this, but I think I hate Keith for what he's done too. But Keith and I are completely different people. If it makes you feel good saying that, then be my guest. Just make sure you leave Valley Park by the end of the week and never come back. <laughs>